we have this concerning news, really, really concerning news, especially con considering how much of a fan I am of both of these artists and the group overall. So it looks like Young Fug and Gunna and the entire the entire roster, it feels like of YSL, um, have been wrapped up in a RICO indictment. Um, the charges are pretty heavy. Um, the only silver lining I would say is that this is a this is a this is a state police um, RICO charge and not like a federal one in terms of the FBI. And the FBI, from what I know, when they come after you, it's usually coming after you because they know you're going to go to jail, you're going to go to prison. Sorry, they have a ninety percent conviction rate. Um, you know the numbers are always silly when they do come after you. Um, they can obviously take you and basically send you to your prison as opposed to jail. And you have to usually, from what I've read too, you have to serve 80% of your sentence if you get charged in a federal RICO Act. Whereas if a state, you only have to do like 60, sometimes 40% of your um, overall time served in jail, which is different to prison. And from what I've read, prison, especially if you're into supermaxes and your social confinement, is way worse than being in jail, even though a jail sounds like an absolute crazy house to be in in general. But overall, sad sad situation i'm going to play a clip here um featuring the da of fulton county in atlanta speaking on the rico charge against young fug gunner and the entire ysl thank you chief Ryan. Um, today i'm joined by the atlanta police chief, chief rodney bryant stop it stewie again one more moment because this is really low there we go let's do this again Hopefully this works in turn on. Boom, boom, boom. Let's get it up to there and then put there. Cool. Should work now. And as well as my sheriff and our sheriff, Sheriff Patrick Labatt. Um, we are here today about a grand jury indictment that was returned um, that included not just Jeffrey Williams, which is of some notoriety and media attention, but about 28 defendants that operated within our community between the time period of 2012 and 2022. Um, it is our allegation that they operated as a criminal street gang and commenced to do havoc in our community. That havoc includes um, crimes of violence, um, crimes of thefts, crimes involving drugs. I've made no secret about it, nor any apology, that as the district attorney of Fulton County, my number one focus is targeting gangs. And there's a reason for that. They are committing conservatively 75 to 80% of all of the violent crime that we are seeing within our community. And so they have to be rooted out of our community. I said just a week or two ago, it does not matter what your notoriety is, what your fame is. If you come to Fulton County, Georgia, and you commit crimes, and certainly if... Yo, she sounds like a mean, mean lady. And this was her two weeks ago, right? A week ago, sorry, talking about it. So maybe, I wonder if they got a heads up or if they knew what was going down because Young Fugger has been um, eerily quiet on social since, obviously since the death of his, one of his baby mothers that was killed outside of a bowling alley or something, right? Which sounded really sketched to me. It didn't sound like, you know, that's a weird thing to happen, especially for a woman, right? Randomly you get into an argument with a dude and he just kills you outside of a bowling alley. It didn't even make any sense. So maybe this explains why there was a lot of radio silence on Yogfuck's end concerning that issue. Um, and maybe that incident maybe sped up the reason why they went to sweep them up because maybe stuff was happening on the street that we weren't really too aware of on our end because it was kind of local stuff. I'm not really too sure, but she did say this a week ago concerning everything. Maybe this was kind of her way to give those guys a heads up. I don't know. DA Fonnie Willis told us. We expect that in coming days, weeks and months that we will bring RICO indictments against gang members, even top level gang members, to make sure that we rid them from our society. We spoke to folks. Mad, isn't it? But 70 to 80 percent of the crimes, or whatever being done, are by street gangs is absolutely wild, isn't it? And then, of course, there's a TV report also that kind of sums it up really nicely here that I'm going to play for you. In a big story playing out in Atlanta today, we just learned minutes ago, Atlanta rapper Young Thug will not make an appearance today in court. After all, he had appeared to be on the docket for 11 o'clock this morning. 
His case has been assigned now to Superior Court. He was arrested yesterday at his home in Buckhead. We've been combing through an 88-page indictment throughout the morning, and this is what we found so far. Young Thug, whose real name is Jeffrey Lamar Williams, is facing charges of conspiracy to violate the racketeering criminal law and criminal street gang activity tied to a larger indictment. Police say he, along with 27 others, have been named in that long report alleging they have ties to the street gang Young Slime Life. Young Thug is cited as a founder of the gang, which claims affiliation with the Bloods. It started out on Cleveland Avenue in southwest Atlanta. Atlanta rapper Gunna, whose given name is Sergio Kitchens, is also listed in this indictment. Gunna is facing similar charges and is listed as an associate of the Young Slime Life gang. The indictment ties Gunna to the gang, citing his very own music videos and social media as evidence. We've been combing through this report line by line. The case doesn't just stop there with Young Thug and Gunna. It also involves rapper YFN Lucci, whose legal name is Rayshawn Bennett. Lucci is currently in the Fulton County Jail serving time. We've been following his charges now for months. This new indictment says members of the YSL tried to stab and kill him with a shank while he was in jail. Lucci has been in jail since April of 2021 for Crazy. violating his probation in a murder case. Another name you may recognize in all of this is Christian Eppinger. He's also named in this indictment as a YSL member. We reported on him. APD says he shot an officer six times earlier this year. The officer survived. But Fulton County DA Fonnie Willis is pushing for Eppinger to get life behind bars because of his long criminal history. So this is a story with a lot of implications and a lot of layers. So as we get new... Crazy, isn't it? So it looks like the only silver lining that I said was because it's a because it's a state um, indictment and not um, and not a federal one most likely there is an opportunity for those guys to get out you know it's obviously very very slim don't get me wrong but there's still an opportunity where they will be able to get out um, but god almighty man what a crazy situation to be in isn't it what a crazy situation to be in um, and it also goes to prove how how much waste of time it is maybe to be a goon especially at the level that they were playing at from what's being alleged in the docket so in terms of point hits on people in terms of murdering people in terms of robbing people you know it's just at the end of the day it's either you end up getting got yourself or you end up getting arrested and doing credible time and in considering that they're multi-millionaire pop stars yeah you i would say you would kind of refer to Gunner and Young Thug as definitely rap pop stars. It just seems like an, enti an incredible waste of resources, time, um, assets, whatever it may be, to be wasting it doing th what they're doing, right? Defending themselves to get these charges is going to, is especially, I would imagine, going to bleed them dry. If they do end up getting some time out or they end up kind of getting off on the charges, it's going to put an incredible spotlight on them in terms of how they move and do certain things. Um, it's going to maybe change the way they're perceived forever in terms of, you know, the deals and that they get and the deals that they don't get. Um, it's just really feels like a waste of time. Like on one side, I think people like myself who are fans of them are fans of them because we know, you know, if you're a fan of them, you, you there shouldn't be no surprise that Young Thug is involved in this level of organized street crime, whatever you might call it. Um, this should be this should come as no surprise to you if you're really a fan. And you've been paying attention. And it also might be a part of the reason why you enjoy his music so much because you know there's a there's like a a filter of realness around everything that he's saying right there's like a there's like a sprinkling of actual you know he's lived a very real and interesting life where he's you know put some work in in various degrees people around him have put some work in which is why they basically command the respect that they command and then of course the music's good to kind of you know cap it all off and here we are as fans you know jumping up and down whenever a tape comes out and you know eager to see them perform live at certain shows um it's a bit weird isn't it Do you know what i mean Th that's the weird part about it and then also charlamagne made a really good point regarding this whole issue he was speaking on the breakfast club and he made a really really interesting point i thought regarding um 
you know young thug and what they mean to 300 entertainment their label and whether or not the label will actually stand by them considering how much they've profited off of the back of you know their thuggish ruggish persona that they kind of put out there i thought there was a really really you know good point for this is a young thug obviously mugshot here looking happy of course and this is a charlemagne talking on the breakfast club uh regarding the rico arrest of you know the YSL members you know and predominantly the big ones in terms of young fucking gun whether or not the label are going to stand by them it's from january of 2013 to may of 2022 according to this 88 page indictment now let's see if 300 is going to uh, stand by them because you know these artists make music based off the same things that those brothers got picked up for and these labels make money based off the same things those brothers got picked up for a lot of people make money you know marketing that lifestyle so let's see what happens now that things are real and not just records but if you recall, that's why YF and Lucy was trying to, to get released to be on house arrest because... Exactly. Really, really good point from Charlemagne in that regard. We know what's going to happen, though. Most likely, they're going to wash their hands of them. They won't be helping them in terms of getting them off the case. I don't know if this if that is even a smart thing for record labels to do, but considering the amount of money that they've kind of made and profited off of their gangster rap image, whatever it may be, to then stand aside and just kind of turn a blind eye to them in their darkest moments is a bit of a piss take. But we shouldn't be surprised if we are familiar with how people get down in the music industry and it should come as no surprise.